newlydanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right. So we actually this is um the first ever Melbourne Escapes poll. We've practiced um every single one of the tests so far this is the last one and the next session we're going to start from the top again so a round of applause if you've come to all the sessions <laughs> this question is about the parliamentary principle so it's the parliament that decides who can create a government after an election okay whose name is this oh, man anyways next one you know the answer to this. Wow. This is a frequently asked question. We've talked about this a whole bunch of times. Denmark joined uh, NATO in 1949. I actually talked about this this evening. 11 people got this wrong. Please get it right. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. Right, well done. Right. Perfect score. Eight people got that wrong. Please get it right. Okay, well done. Perfect score. Okay, only one person got this wrong. It's 37 hours.
It's lower than the Folketing elections. Almost halfway through now. You can you can create a foreigning even if you're not a citizen. Okay, now you know what you don't know. Next one. Two people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Static top five. Static top five. We've got JJ, Luezo, Linder, Richard, and P. Three players just reached an answer streak of eight. Great job. You guys know the answers to this. Okay, only one person got that wrong. It's the communes. Okay, Luezo is now number one. Okay, only two people got that wrong. Free is back in the game three in a row. Excellent. Next one. We are more than halfway through now, almost at the end. So someone asked this question. The answer is yes. Hopefully you got your answer. I hope that person is still here. Someone asked about this question in the chat when we were starting. All right, on to the next one. Mount Everest is making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent. second oh no yes so in denmark you have to inform the police before you have a demonstration however they they can't stop you you just inform them you don't need their approval okay this is about what's this yes it's it's free to go uh, to the doctor in denmark next one Yes, 12 is the highest grade. Richard is now in the top five. Gigi's making a comeback with three in a row. Great job. We've got 10 questions to go. Okay. 
Okay, 1536, Reformation. Four people got that wrong. Static top five. Static top five. Yes, it's your criminal record. Seven people got that wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Okay. One person got this wrong, so it's 10 years. Una reasonings, please. All right, we've got Luezo, JJ, Richard, Teddy, and Linder. We've got seven questions to go. Four players reached the non-answer streak of five. Excellent. Next one. The answer is no. This is a frequently asked question. It appears on both tests. The answer is no because, so the question is, should a member of parliament, so bear in mind, it says a member of parliament, so the person is already a member of parliament, be a member of a political party. The answer is no, because once you get voted into parliament, you can choose to leave your party and become independent. And that's actually happened now. There's, um, I think there's one independent candidate in there. So a lot of people left New Borley. Um, the leader of the party left, left the party and joined Liberal Alliance. And the other two or three left as well. So New Borley now has nobody in parliament. And one of them is an independent, is an independent, I think. Um so yeah, that's what this question is about. It's frequently asked, so please get it right next time. You're probably going to see it. Like, well, you're definitely going to see it again. And um, hopefully you also see this on the test so that you can get it right there. Okay, next one. Eighteen oh five to eighteen seventy five. He was seventy years old. We have a static top five again. Static top five. Wezo, JJ, Richard, Linder, and P. David L is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. Oh my! He's on fire. Five questions to go. seen this question before all right so decisions from Durat can be appealed at Landsrat decisions from Landsrat can be appealed um, from Hoyesrat um, the Hoyesrat decisions are final on to the next Well done. Perfect score. Screenshots. 
Nah, it's Melbo escapes prone. <laughs> Next one. Okay, three questions to go. Okay, April 1940. Okay. 2011, first female Prime Minister, Helen Toning Schmidt from the Social Democratic Party. That's an FAQ. Last question. Sankt Hans celebrated on the 23rd of June. Linda at number three. JJ at number two. And of course, Luezo at number one. And we've got Richard and P at number four and five. All right. NewlyDanish.com.